I'd just say thank you ever so much for asking me to come and open this. It genuinely is an absolute fantastic honour, actually, because I'm a believer in the work that goes on here. Okay, now the first thing is that all these people were beginners when they came to me. Um, this bowl was made by this wonderful man who's Algerian and instantly his mother is a potter in Algeria but he'd never ever ever tried it um, and immediately he had a go with the clay it, it, it clicked so it's obviously in the gene to some extent and um, he was very psychotically unwell when he came to us he sort of later admitted he was um, seeing visions of spiders crawling everywhere and was they were really really invasive and intrusive and he was not having a good time but he said that actually doing the pottery uh, allowed him to sort of gain control of these things and he could sort of focus on that and um, has made these beautiful beautiful things many of um, his pieces are in this exhibition um, similarly this this chap here um, a novice, uh, absolutely really, really changed him, so much so that he actually wanted to go on and possibly do um, a psychology qualification of some description, and he wrote quite a lot of poetry, and this is a very beautiful um, poem that he wrote using um, him, uh, sort of clay and the making of pottery is a metaphor for his sort of um, transformation uh, into sort of wellness and wholeness. And so it's written all around this, this pot he made and contributed to, but he really, really changed from being a very withdrawn, um, sort of quiet, very, very timid person into visibly growing in self-esteem and um, in a sort of confidence. The joy of making something small and fragile and precious is not something they've ever had the opportunity to do before. So, um, you know, maybe that will teach them something that they would uh, then continue with. Actually, one guy who is now back in prison, he, um, I taught him a couple of years ago, he didn't actually change his behaviour, was back in for a similar offence, but in the interim, in his um, liberty, he did build his own kiln in the garden and was doing lots of pottery, so, you know, he might not have changed his, uh, you know, criminal behaviour, but, you know, he might have done worse otherwise, but it did keep him occupied, and, you know, he has a lot of other issues to deal with, like rejection and abandonment, and all things that happened to him with a difficult childhood, and uh, various other things, so um, he obviously used it as a coping strategy, so that's a nice, nice uh, story. The Saxon King. This was, um, he actually wasn't with us for that long, but he um, really, really just, just loved it. He was sort of one of the less complicated, sort of higher functioning people we had, which is why he wasn't with us for so long. But again, he hadn't done pottery before, and it really, really, really transformed his life. And, you know, if you could see the faces of people when they're sort of taking their work out to give on visits or to the family, you know, the, the pride is unbelievable you know and I've had guys say to me before that I actually had to write a letter to say that they had made it because their girlfriend didn't actually believe they were capable this painting was made from cereals food cereals and it was PVA and it's sort of recycled art um, the chap who did this um, <coughs> was for many, many years, he was a listener in um, Pentonville and he went on and on release, did a lot of voluntary work and went on to the um, Mary Ward to study art. Um, uh, on the night, it went very well. We, we sold about 20 or 30 percent of the work on the, on the actual night itself. Um, so now it's, we took a deposit and now it's chasing up the sales, so yeah, and, and on the night, for all the art shows that I've ever been to, I don't think I've ever been to a crowded one that was actually packed, and in fact the gallery was too small for the amount of people that were turned up, so it's very successful. Um, I'm a practicing artist and a part-time art tutor at Pentonville. Um, I teach in the main wings and also do one day a week in daycare, um, teaching, painting and drawing. Um, and I'm not sure that 
people are aware that prisoners actually give back and help and they are aware of the budgets or not. And if you want to use canvases, we need to generate, you know. So the last two or three years we have chosen to, it, we do raise money and it goes back to them. And they have to understand that they can't use, can't get experience to use on canvases, um, but they have to, we have to create some of the budget ourselves. And I think that's fair.